Okay, so I will basically try to, to give you an overview over the platform, like in just uh, four or five slides, and then basically go to the demo directly. So it will be very short and, and hopefully informative as well. Um, as my colleague Daniel already mentioned um, about, about um, the project itself, our objective is basically to develop a learning infrastructure to provide federated access to digital educational resources. So we basically try to, to get all open educational resources in one place, not, not all, but trying to get open educational resources in, the, in a one place and provide them to teachers, to students, and then allow them to, to share them with each other and, and, and so on. So we have um, the main components uh, for like developing such a kind of infrastructure and those components were basically the use case analysis, like conducting interviews with teachers, with the students, to get to know what they really want from such a kind of infrastructure. And we got an idea, basically, and we made some personas, user stories, we switched them to functional requirement and, and the components, I will present them in a later slide. Um, so the main project components are basically presented in this, in this kind of figure. So we have uh, one component for, for developing prowlers, harvesters. This is basically like, uh, like the module that collects uh, open educational resources and educational resources from different kind of sources and repositories. And then later on, we had um, a work together with our colleagues in depth to, to map those kind of resources to what we call a common data model schema. In a common data model schema, we, we used mainly like the LOMA standard. Some of you might have already heard of it. And later on, we basically store everything in an index and present it in a search engine and the search front end, right? So one part of um, one part of the user stories where basically is also to, to provide everything inside like um, a learning management system. And we asked it many of, of, um, of basically like the people we interviewed and we realized that, that the, the, the most popular learning management system is, is Moodle, right? It's, uh, it was not only from the user stories as well, but after searching and asking some colleagues in, in universities and so on, we, we saw that Moodle is basically having a, like a huge share, like, and, and yeah, it's, it's used um, intensively. And basically, we developed everything inside Moodle. And the user stories, they, they gave us some ideas about what they wanted to have, something like the creation date, access rights, filter, topic, filter, authors, and so on. And all those user stories have been implemented. And that's what I will show you um, in a later stage. Um, so we basically, like as I mentioned, we harvest different open educational resources from different kind of uh, repositories. We try to map them to, to the LOMA standard if they are not mapped already, and then we place them into one central index, right? Um, one component of the project is also to, to try to generate more metadata. So basically when we, um, so, so, so when the metadata like is enriched, right? So we, we, we can have a better search engine, we can have a better results and so on. And then we used a different kind of subject indexing models to generate some topics for the documents. The generated subjects comes from different sources, something like the, the SDW thesaurus, the, the building server, um, Scos Hub, and, and Core, and I think I think different sources. Right? Um, yeah, so now I would start with a, with a presentation of the platform itself. See if I can stop this share. So here we go. Yeah, so, so basically what, what you can see here is um, the starting page uh, of EduArc platform. This is basically, as I mentioned, is, is developed all inside Moodle, right? And what you know already from Moodle is that you have like a kind of dashboard, you have a calendar for like the, the users, you have different, different features. At the moment, I'm not looking in, in Moodle. So it's basically the basic functionalities of, uh, of Eduard. So you can see like a basic functionality for, let's say, adding resources um, and, and simple search, advanced search, and a general harvester. 
And a general harvester is a feature that works only when you are having an admin rights, right? So basically we don't allow every student or every person to just put a URL and say, please harvest this URL. We wanted to have like some kind of quality resources, right? Um, starting from like adding the resources, um, you might you might be a little bit familiar with such a kind of form like from Zenodo, right? So you basically, let's say if you have um, a new document and you wanted to upload it to your search engine, you start like writing down some details like title, description, language, source, value, and so on, right? And um, that's basically what we can try to do at the moment by just typing down, like, let's say a test document and then the language filter is something like English. Right, and the source is something like the DOM standard and we are just, let's say a provider. And the name, it can be any author name and any ID. This is just, let's say, um, a test version, right? Yeah, and the location is, yeah. And, and the repository, this is like, if, if, the, um, if the document is hosted in a repository, something like, like ICMBIS, this is a repository that we have in ZBW, like for, for economics and so on. And um, a date and time, I will not submit for sure, but there are, let's say, more optional fields you can use, and then later on you preview what you already entered. And you can submit if you wanted to have this one in, um, in the main search index, right? So, so, so now getting you back into the, the overall picture, you can assume that there is like a university or an institute. There are some kind of teachers, they wanted to provide their own resources, right? And they have two ways to do this, either to, 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 to add it to like the main search index or to upload it in like using the, the Moodle features, right? That you already are familiar about. Um, and then you go to a simple search like or searching like the resources that you already uploaded. And then you, you type anything in there, right? And the search engine is based on um, on Elasticsearch, so you can provide a real time search quite fast. You can search with different features and so on. At the moment, we have almost like five million documents inside the search engine, and they come from different sources. Some of them come from Equibus, as you see here, Open Clip Art. Some of them comes from Tor um, and Hamburg University Library, and and there are many many let's say different uh, data sources. And there you can see most of the features that are like familiar to you already, like to search by titles, by author. If I just search it, like let's say filtered the results by, by, by the author of Professor Klaus Dochtermann, for example. And then you basically get, um, get, get like the, um, the, the papers that he already submitted or created before and so on, right? Um, and, and similarly, with the advanced search, you can search directly like over a specific fields, like the author and language and start date and, uh, and so on. Right? The harvester is, is basically like something that will be only provided to, to admins, as I just mentioned. So I would just plug in as an admin here. Yeah, and basically now you can now you can see the um, as a harvester page and inside the harvester the admin can basically mention like a url so let's say you wanted to crawl like um, like some kind of um, of, of resources from ecombis for example or let's say any other source then you write down let's say a url in here and the harvester will look for the sitemap will try to go into each single resource would we'll try to map them to, to the LOMA standard and then later on try to put them into, into the index of Eduard. And when you look in as an admin, right, you see already that you have a lot of features like as an admin, but those are all like the features that are provided by Moodle. So something like this dashboard, creating like, let's say some kind of sort like courses and, um, and then provide those sources to students and so on. And then let's say if, if there is um, a teacher wanted to, let's say, um, 
provide like some kind of paper to to his students or something, right? So here he have he have an option to download or let's say to export the metadata schema for for such a kind of resources that he selected. So I'm, I'm not sure if you will be able to see my my text file in here or not. But these are basically some kind of JSON, like the, the yeah the data for those two resources are downloaded in uh, in a JSON schema, right? Yeah, and last last but not least, there are basically some kind of text generated text. This is what I mentioned in in my presentation slide. So we try to generate more metadata using different subject indexing models. And that's basically what you can see in here, like in, uh, in, in the text field, right? So the text field, you see that those, there are like more metadata generated and, and presented now in, uh, in the search engine, right? Um, and the final thing that I would like to show you is basically also later on. So like when a university or an institute wanted to use such a kind of platform, wanted to run it, it's, it's very easy and straightforward. So we will provide you with an access to, to the code repositories that we have created in, um, in the last months of the project. We basically have here like a GitHub repository, a GitLab repository, and the GitLab contains um, the entire code. And the entire code is very easy to get like up and running, right? There is a very small documentation of how to get it up and running inside the repository itself. And there is also like a detailed, let's say, documentation. If, if like, um, if the institute wanted to, let's say, add more features or like add more resources and so on, and this repository will be open to everyone basically quite soonish, I would say. And everyone is like more than welcome, let's say, to 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 use it and um, and yeah, to reuse it basically. Yeah, so thanks a lot. And I think I would give some time to, to have your questions, if there is any.